Hey guys, it's me, Card Gamers Guild. A couple of weeks ago, in my Blaster Dark Diablo deck, I promised that I'll do a Clara Sword Dragon take. I'll do a Clara Sword Dragon deck profile since the new set has just came out like a month ago. Well, this is my version of a Clara Sword Dragon deck. I know certain people say that you go Vortimer, Claret, or whatever, or Bivuka, Claret, or stuff. But personally, this is my build. I go four copies of Clara Sword Dragon. Obviously, he's the main ace of your deck. His GB2 skill is basically Phantom Blaster. You get a 10k and a crit by sacking two units. His strike skill is whenever you strike, counter blast one, superior call, great one, or less, and get plus 2k. So, I'm running him not because of his GB2 skill. Obviously, I like to superior call because it saves my hand size. So, I'm running four of him to superior call my dudes. Then, now here comes the tricky part. Like I said earlier, people go like, you play Clara with Vortimer, you play Clara with Baivuka, you play Clara with a Limit Break guy, or Moderate, or whatever. I personally think that this is the best way to go if I play uh, two Blaster Dark Diablos and two Death Spray Dragon. Basically, if you have seen my deck review on the Blaster Dark Diablo deck, you know that these two these two guys are the best pals. If you, if you haven't, I think the link is below in the description. Please go and check out and you, you understand what combo is. So basically, it's whenever I... I nah, never mind. You just watch that video and you know the combo. So basically, the combo goes like, I strike Phantom Blaster here, I strike on top of Blaster Dark Diablo, and, uh, and I blow up one unit and I use this guy, attack, retire one of my guys, counter blast one, blow up one of your units, and you have nothing to offer to my giant dragon here with two crits and he's become unblockable and you die to that. So basically this is my great, great three lineup. Uh, four clarets, two blaster ducks and two death sprays. As for my great two, I play four copies of these guys that the, I call them the, the flag of the deck in the sense that they rally the other shell paladins to be superior caught out from the deck. So the, the thing is, I play two because I think that I play two of each I, because I think that this deck needs heavy hitters more heavy hitters because they can close up the game for you so I play two legend deck Maka and two Grey Mew the good thing about Maka is the cost isn't that high as uh, Grey Mew and she can activate even if you are on your backup grade 3 the Blaster Dark Diablo but the bad thing is her skill only activates during attack and she needs to be boosted and you can only superior call great ones. Whereas for this guy here, Grey Mew, you can superior call great one or great zeros and that guy get plus 2000. But at the cost of having a Clara Sword Dragon Vanguard, you need to counter blast one and you need to soul blast one. So this guy has a little hefty cost. So I'll just play two because, you know, you get the best of both worlds. Next up, I play four Belber Riffs. Belber Riff is the standard 12k heater. Did I say four Belber Riffs? It's three, I'm sorry. Then I play for a full playset of Grozny. Grozny is basically whenever you superior call a great one or less unit, he gets plus 3k. So if you want to finish off your opponent with a high power column, you just dump up your entire hand and then he grossly goes up to 30 over 1000 and you whack then the guy will be like oh, I can't guard and then he goes down next up for our, for our first great one we have uh, two copies of sword breaker superior call her and you get a draw card with a soul blast then we play a full play set of uh, AB summoner now AB summoner is one of the few cards that got me hyped for the new GBT-06 uh, Basically what he does is if you have a Claret Vanguard and your units retired due to your effects, sacked due to your effect, you may unflip one damage and so charge one and then he gets plus 3000. The downside of him is you cannot spam his ability but I understand because they don't want this deck to be too overpowered. Next up we play a full playset of Strike Fodder, pretty standard, just pitch her to strike, brand ones. Then of course a full playset of Perfect Guard G's to unflip, then the Clara Sword Dragon 
critical trigger. Basically, he goes in the soul, you draw a card, and Clara gets plus 5k when Clara attacks. And uh, this deck runs 9 criticals, so there are another 5 criticals here. Man, I just love this up. Uh, if you have realized, if you if you haven't realized that, it's one thing about this deck is it doesn't run David, because we have the new stand triggers Alsor. Alsor is basically a David. That means when he sack, he's considered as two units. The second his second skill is the nice one because whenever he dies by being sacked, he returns to the deck. Now some I know some people play two copy of that, but <laughs> when I play Stas, I really had no luck at all, and all of, all of this guy went down to the drop zone. Will damage zone, not drop zone. So basically useless if I run two. So I had to, I had to run three just to prevent those situations from happening. And of course, four heal triggers because I don't want to die fast in this deck. Uh, since David is gone, he has been replaced by Oscar. Basically, Oscar works works well with uh, Aura Geyser Dam. Basically, he goes in the soul. If you have Clarisol Dragon, he goes to soul. Search for a great a great one unit, put it on top of your deck and counter charge one. So what you want to do is you're on Aura Geyser Dam and you put a perfect guard on top of your deck and then you use Aura Geyser's Dam skill, you reveal, guarantee a one retire. Now I've got, I've got the deck done, so I'll talk about the G-Zone. Now my G-Zone is a little bit weird. Why? Because I play not two, not three, but four. Aura Geyser and one Aura Geyser Dam. Let me tell you why. If you have realized that this is a Spectral Blaster Diablo, it's a skill doesn't require a Persona flip. So that means you could flip anything. The reason for me running four Aura Geysers and one Dam is because some games your opponent know that you have a Dam, they will not have a lot of viable units or sometimes no units on the field for you to retire. So Dam is a hefty cost unless you got something to retire with. Something to retire. Not retire with. As for Aura Geyser, sometimes when he doesn't have Dam, you will want to strike Aura Geyser just to build up hand size so you can defend against them. Remember, this deck doesn't want draw trigger, but Aura Geyser could help you draw really, really well because his skill, I, th I believe all of you guys know his skill. Basically, he attacks, Soul Blast 1, kill 2 of your units, Persona 1, Aura Geyser, and you reveal the top 2 cards of your deck. Then only you perform the drive check. Dam is, Dam's effect is during the main phase. During the main phase, when during the main phase, you may counter blast one, reveal the top two cards of your deck. For each great one card, reveal no, uh, counter blast one, retire three units, reveal the top two cards of your deck. For each great one last card revealed, you may blow up one of his units. So basically, he works very well with our starter. Remember, put a put a put a perfect guard on top, and then you just get to retire one. And next card we, we have is one copy, just one copy of Spectral Blaster Diablo. So this is this guy is our our retire act retire one unit and then and then uh and then when after he attacks we call blast two, retire two, and then he gets to restand, but his drive track is minus three. But he's a good finisher. So just one copy because you can unflip anything, so you'll be unflipping either the dam or the extra or geyser. Last but not least, uh, two copies of uh, Phantom Blaster Diablo. It's a staple in every Shadow Paladin deck and he works and he has a combo with these two guys here, remember? He has a combo with them. So yeah, this is my take on the Clara Sword Dragon deck. Uh, I won't say it's a budget deck, but it's definitely a, a deck that you can be can build if you have most if you have a lot of components because the only cards you need to add in are maybe the one extra one extra duke, uh the a lot of commons, you just add in some commons. So if you have most of the cards and you you want to upgrade, it's a very simple upgrade. But if you want to build a deck from scratch, it's gonna be costly. So this is my version of the Clash Sword Dragon deck. This this build is not absolute. Like what I like what I always said is uh, it's just only a template. You could change and modify it to your needs. But this is how I like my Claret Sword Dragon to roll. If you got any any inquiries or anything you want, anything you feel that needs to be changed, please comment below. I always love when people comment comments that are 
that suggests new things because I, I, I get to uh, think of new strategies and I get to understand new strategies and stuff. Uh, one, of my, one, of my, one of the things I like to do with my card fighting friends is we talk about new strategies and stuff. It's, it's really nice. So you guys, you guys, please comment below what, what would you change or what, what you don't like about this deck and stuff and stuff like that. I will reply your comments always unless you guys are commenting something troll or something <laughs> then I won't. So take care guys. This is my this is my deck profile and I hope you guys like it. Thank you. See you next time.